everybody. Today we are here with Natasha and Fred, and I am really excited for you guys to hear about their investing journey today. Um, Natasha, why don't you guys tell us a little bit about yourselves? Um, I got your name already. Let me know what you do for work, where you guys live, and where you were at in your investing journey prior to joining the Success with Brunswick Properties coaching program. So um, I'm Natasha. I am an office admin uh, at a Montessori school, and I also am a YouTuber now. <laughs> I, I do YouTube videos about minimalism. Um, My name is Fred. I'm a, an, an engineer, and yeah. yeah. So <laughs> uh, we basically back in June, uh, we decided to sell our first house we thought we were going to live there forever um we were that was the plan we had been there for nine years but zillow looked really good it was like you should sell your house and we were like yeah okay that sounds like a good idea so we um but also we we wanted to basically move in with my parents because they were getting old and um and also share finances so like it just see it made more sense at the time they had a, a, a big house and also my dad was dealing with cancer so like we just wanted to be closer uh to them especially during this time so financially everything just made sense for us to see if we could sell our house so um that was like kind of, that was basically when we started also to get interested in possibly owning real estate so like we everything kind of happened all at once but basically we were able to move in with my parents in july we were able to sell my parent i mean we were able to then sell our house in september and then we were also looking for duplexes because we decided <laughs> to um then basically once we started working with you we decided that we wanted to also rent out my parents house and move into duplex uh so i feel like i went too far ahead a but... lot has gone on that's for sure yeah yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yes yes you guys had some big goals for real estate remember when i when i first met you i said what are your goals what are your real estate goals why what is your why what are you wanting to buy rental properties for would you mind sharing like so what's the like like the main thing i think the main yeah. like thing that got us motivated is that we wanted to make sure that we were able to build generational wealth yeah. uh and be able to have something to pass on to our kids and like you know there's retirement accounts and everything but we wanted to be able to have to find a way to have like income every month outside of like our nine to fives and so eventually that could replace our nine to fives and then we could have more freedom to do the things each day that we want to do that don't involve necessarily not like we're lazy or like we don't want to work but like be able to have more flexibility in our lives and not be like i have to work i have to go here i have to do this you know like i have to you know like i just i don't i didn't want that like and we started investing like a year ago we started investing and saw like what the stock market could do and yeah. like you know just being able to to put our money towards better use rather than spending it all on amazon purchases which may have been happening like for the last several years of our, that may have just been the case but like we were like you know we there's a lot of stuff that we were buying just to buy when we could have been utilizing our money in uh, better ways. So once we started investing in the stock market, we are like, wow, this is amazing. Yeah. And then I started seeing more about real estate. I'm like, it just seemed like a way that we could scale our, our uh, income, our passive income each month, um, more so than it, we already were able to do. Like, you know, I like a faster, I get a, a faster right. pace or whatever. Totally. So like, just to know just to know like that you know from a property like you you own a house and then your cash flow is like what a few hundred a month that you didn't have to like actively sit at a desk to to earn mm, yeah that that was really yeah that was really like enticing so like but but um yeah that's that's big that was like the main thing generational wealth just having source another source of income like multiple streams of income aside from not just depending on our job in case something happens to one of us or whatever we want to make sure that you know we're still okay right yeah, we're not able totally. to work still okay um and then oh yeah <laughs> um uh, you know the the more money you can have the more that you can be able to 
to give, uh, or whether you know to worthy causes and stuff. What so, kind yeah. of um, what kind of research have you have you guys done? So you were doing stocks, and then you're like, I used to maybe start seeing some stuff on Instagram or YouTube, like investing in real estate. So when you first thought, oh, real estate, rental properties, this might be something. How long did you do research for? What kind of research did you do? Did you listen to podcasts or read books or YouTube? The heck out of like, you know, how to invest in real estate or what? What did you do to prepare yourself for this journey? It was like all of the above. Like, so yeah, yeah, basically when the reason I even like that, we even got better with our money was through Instagram. Cause like a year, that's how I learned how to invest. She like, started. It was me. I was, cause I was on the Instagram anyway. Like, but I, I, I felt like I wasn't, I, I, it was an accident. It was basically an accident. Like a year ago, like, especially cause I got into minimalism. And I, so I had like all these like people I was following on Instagram, but it wasn't like of any benefit to me. It was just like looking through like feeds, like what is even the point? But I'm still looking through it, seeing what all my friends are up to. See, oh, you got a new whatever, whatever. But like then I started like replacing, unfollowing people. No offense to anyone out there, you know, but like I stopped, I started unfollowing people that I felt like weren't, their, the content wasn't like, lip, I guess like. Helping you move forward in your life. Yeah, it was like, why? So then I started replacing with like finance, like different finance accounts. And it got me like really thinking and having a better mindset about money. And then somehow it kind of, it kind of also went into like, um, real estate. Like I, um, I feel like, and that's how I came upon you somehow in there. I, I was following a lot of different, um, like a finance IG accounts, but then somewhere in there, I came across brick by brick wealth and I was intrigued. So I started following you. I, I, I feel like it was Instagram because like we follow a lot of the same, there's like a whole network, like it all, right? Like there's like what the fi guy, there's like just so many other ones. And it's like, we there was this network and I was just like, yeah, I want to be in it. So I was just following everybody. And like the stuff you were posting, I it really intrigued me. And like, you seem like, you know, you weren't too like, like, um, like there's like those gurus, like the real estate gurus, right? Uh, you know, and it's very like masculine and whatever, Funny. like no offense to them. Yeah. But it's so like macho and like, you know, you should be doing this, that, 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 like, you know, like 10 X, you know, and like, they got me hype, they got me hype. But there was something about you that like, it, I, I was intrigued and I feel like I, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna like look more into possibly working with with you because um also you offered the one on one, right? The one, and I wasn't seeing that around. Like I did purchase a few other courses from IG from a few other people that we are probably mutually follow, and they were good, but there wasn't the personal touch, right? It was like. It was like I couldn't, there wasn't feedback. So I may not have finished some of those other courses that I did purchase. They were good, they were good, but there was no personal touch to it. So then when I was able to have our initial like discovery call and like talk to you, it's just the words you were saying and then being able to have like that, you know, instant like feedback and stuff. I was like, I, I have to work with you. Like, and, and like, you know, we, we had just sold our house, I think, or we were in the process of closing. So we were about to have like a, a good, like nest egg to start investing in properties. And it just seemed like the, it was serendipitous. It was serendipitous that we were supposed to meet at that time through the use of social media. So like, I feel like social media has been amazing. Like this, like it transformed our life for the better rather than us being all like, you know, like consumed it. Like, yeah, I'm on it still, but it's for good reasons, you know? Like it's like, I'm learning, it's education. So like, that's kind of how we ended up finding and connecting with you. And I never, and you, yeah, I, yeah, I never thought like uh, like maybe a year or two ago. I never would have thought that I would yeah. use Instagram for something like that. But oh my goodness, like yeah. So so yeah, like that you you know being able to connect with you and then also just like having like been doing the research and like learning and watching YouTube. We were we were following some people online like Meet Kevin, but he he's cool. Meet Kevin's cool, but it was like too cuz he's in everything and it was just like too big to relate to. Mm -hmm. Like I needed someone I needed someone like more like you know, you're a mom, I'm a mom, right? Like just kind of in this like what what can we do to um generate more income and to be able to, you know, take care of our families yes. better. 
If you can do it, like I see you and you can do it, you're doing it, then I, I want to do that too. So that's why I was like, you're the one, you're it. <laughs> yeah. Yay. So what did you guys, what did you guys think about the program? So there's those two aspects, like you mentioned, the personal one-on-one -on -one coaching, you know, accountability, making sure you're progressing, um, keeping tabs. And then there's also the online course aspect as well. And I like to combine both of them because everyone comes in um, at my to my program at all different walks of life, knowing different things. So, I have some property managers that join. I have stay-at-home moms. I have dentists. Like you know, everyone's got this different knowledge level, and so I really try to put together a thorough online course to teach you everything too, so that we're not spending time on our coaching sessions teaching you stuff. It's just making sure. Do you understand? Yes. Let's talk about the steps and let's move forward. So what did you guys think about the, um, the course aspect of the program? I, I really like the course aspect. I mean, I thought you were very clear in explaining various concepts concerning, you know, you know, rentals, like, whoa, wait, what you need to paint your house? <laughs> um, yeah, you know, so specific, but like, it's so it's so detailed it's so like but in the you had like yeah. all the reasons and then even just like oh and then even just like getting us started like having the right mindset like yeah. that whole first part about mindset and stuff it was like yes yes like we were so hyped but yeah like like he like loved the like the rehab part oh yeah he learned yeah. so much about like you really you really laid it out like you just were like hey this is what you need there's three different types of the rehab and everything like things like the the the, the amount of like material in your course and i get why it's like what like five or six weeks long right like yeah. you do one module a week i get it because it's a lot you learn a <laughs> yeah. lot yeah. You learn a lot and you have to re-listen sometimes because it's so good. Like, it's like so detailed and you're like, okay, I need to. Yeah. No, let me think about that a little more. Yeah. Yeah. Like let's replay, like you replayed a, a few parts of it, but like, yeah, I don't know that I, I, you know, I, I, like I said, I bought other courses too. Um, they, they don't, they don't even compare like no offense. Like they're good. They're good, but they're very like on the surface. Mm -hmm. Like yours is like. This is really everything you need to know to like, just like get in there and do what you need to do. And like, when I go to Lowe's, I'm like, I need the Benjamin Moore Edgecombe Gray, right? Um, gray, yeah. And it's gotta be with the Sherwin Williams, blah, blah, blah. Like, like I, <laughs> like I knew what I was talking about, right? You know, like, um, it was so helpful, like, cause it took a lot of the guesswork out. Yeah. It took a lot of guesswork out for certain things. And so that's really helped me not to feel like so overwhelmed because like, we're not just, we're not just doing one thing at a time. We were like, we need to, we need to get my mom's house ready for rental. But then we're also, we also bought a duplex. We we're like doing everything, but yeah. having you like the court, like the course to kind of just walk us through getting my mom's house ready and everything and understanding and and then like even the buying the buying of this and then being able to like then ask you like you know to clarify things like after we watched the course that that module then we're able to clarify with you like hey what can you go more like tell like what what about this scenario what about this like it, they go hand in hand they go hand in hand and then also like it keeps you accountable like you got to make sure you watch the module before we meet and i may have been guilty like of not doing it that long but at least one of us watched it you know like or like there was one time i asked you like about landlording like did you watch the module? i thought i did but apparently i didn't because like i watched half of it i think and then i was like oh my gosh i gotta go back and now i'm all good but um yeah you like you the one-on-one -on -one and the the course they go, they're so necessary. It's like, it was like perfect. Like, Thank I mean, you. the amount of like knowledge that you get, it's, you, you put like years and years of your experience into that. <clears throat> like every single like nook and cranny. It, like what, the value I got from it, like I would pay that over and over again. Like I wouldn't, I mean, but I would. Like I, I can't afford that, but I would. <laughs> Not yet. That's what I mean. No, I can't afford it yet, but <laughs> right. based on your advice, I'll be able to afford it over and over again. Soon. <laughs> it's yeah. like, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go no, ahead. I was just going to say, even after, you know, after every session, you take great notes. 
so then we can easily like wrap you you know we know that you're paying oh, attention yeah. to us yeah and, like you know the... and specifically you know the, those major hot points or you know things you, during the meeting yeah you really like to take your time to know every like detail of what we're we're like talking about and like to be able to reference it and then you like sent us like really nice notes afterwards like better than my notes <laughs> oh, <thank laughs> you. you know yeah no just the whole ex experience like i mean you know i get it like that's why you can only take so many people on at a time but they it's like so worth it i can't even it's so worth it like there wasn't even like even when i like like there's certain investments that you make in life right that are like you have they're so they they pay back tenfold right like yeah. they're the start like, like investing in your course is like the start of something big life-changing for us like i'm getting chills just thinking about it but it's like it was like i know it was a it was an investment but i told fred like i and he trusted me like because he's awesome but he trusted i was like i got it all right he's like yeah yeah i know i know you did like but we like in the big scheme of things like this investment it's gonna pay us back for years and years in every property that that we buy so everyone should buy it <laughs> it's like it's the start of oh something God. amazing <laughs> like for real i i can't even like and i love like having these kinds of experiences because i've had like several like life-changing experiences where i've had to like get a mentor i had to like and this is one of them like when i first started um my photography business i i paid several thousand to um invest in like a world-renowned like a uh, wedding photographer and it paid me back like yeah. in the first year i yeah. was able to like up my how much i could charge so like everything that i pay you know and then like that's how I feel. You have to find someone in the fields that you like, especially if you're new, you need to find a good mentor. Like, and there's a lot of like fluff out there, but like, you're, you're legit, you're legit. And when I saw like all the, the testimonials, I get it. Like, that's what made me like, that's really what made me like, I have to also have her because who knows what's going to happen to you. Like, you know, you're down the line, you're not going to be able to do this, but I'm got, we got in on the, on the ground zero. We were able to have the opportunity to work with you. So like, I mean, if you're out there and you're watching this, this is the real deal. Like our life is forever transformed. Thank you, Casey. Oh gosh, you guys. <laughs> Mic <Nice job. Yes. laughs> If you have more questions though, please continue to, I will answer them, but I may have, I may have like, you know, hit the, Apex a little too early. <laughs> no, I do. I think everybody wants to know. So thank you very much, you guys. That that's the sweetest thing is you guys it's, say about me. I mean, it's the truth. You. Like it's what my you pleasure. Do I, so I love what I do. So I love yeah. working with you. I love our meetings. I love all our email conversations, and I love watching the transformation. I mean, the fact that you guys, you know, sold your house. I remember our very first call. You were in your vacant house, like you were, you were like <laughs> closing. I was like why does it look like it's vacant, you know, where you're at? And, and you're like, oh, we're selling our house and starting our new journey. And so I went from that to, you know, me helping you with your mom's house and getting that ready for rent. And you guys with your mom buying this duplex and, you know, inheriting a tenant that, you know, we're still going through right now. Um, and, you know, now we talked about, which I don't want to give it away. I want to ask you your future goals, but you know, you guys have so much more too that we, I mean, we, it's only been a couple of months you've been working with me and we still have a few more months to go. So I am really looking forward to the rest of the time we have together and see what other places we can get for you guys. But I want to hear about your duplex. Tell me about the duplex you want. Well, pretend it's not me, pretend, cause I already know all the answers, but Tell everyone watching about your duplex, how you bought it, any obstacles that you came across, um, and how much cash flow you plan on making once you end up moving out and you're renting it fully. Okay, so we so we had a few criteria in getting this duplex. Basically, especially because my dad did pass away a few months ago, and so we are with my mom and her family lives near here, like in in Jersey, like basically. Um, her, her house is in Delaware and it was like an hour away from family. So we were like, we need to move closer to our family in Jersey. So that's why we look for a duplex in, in Jersey. Of course, like the property taxes are kind of higher here. So you, you have to look around, like I probably calculated the numbers on like probably 40 or 50 properties. And then we only ended up seeing 
maybe like five or six properties and then the, a few of them that we wanted to see like went so fast be before we could even get to them so like we had all of those things that we had to work with in this market right so like but we did the number like um so we so that was one of the main another thing is like that our we have a church that's near here it's only like i want to say like 15 20 minutes away so like being closer to church being closer to family and then i still i still do work in pennsylvania so being able to have a decent commute over there combined with our hybrid car so like you know like it's so it's not so bad so we're like we just have to be near all those things um, and then I really, we really wanted a side-by-side -side duplex if we yeah. could. A lot of the duplexes we were looking at were like top and bottom. So it was like, I saw a few of them and I just, I couldn't, I, I didn't feel compelled. And then also like a lot of the properties in New Jersey are like old, like hundred years old. Yeah. Like the floor is like not even even or whatever. And like, it's like, oh, you know, there's like, you know, just like, not ideal. So we just kept looking, but I learned a lot. Like I learned a lot by being able to visit other properties and stuff. And I learned, like I was able to just get better at the math. And then even like talking to you about the math, like I think I was over, over like estimating how much our expenses would be or what we really needed to set aside. But like working with you on the math and being like, oh, I don't have to set aside that, like the chances of that, you know, happening, you know, like it just helped us to put things in more perspective. So like, um, we saw this house, it went on, basically I had been working with one realtor um, and visiting a bunch of houses, but then she was very busy. So like we hadn't signed an agreement or anything. So when there was a house, we, we found a duplex before this duplex that we really wanted. The cash flow was so good. Like I like it came out and I was like, I need to see this house. Like we need to go see this because this might be the one, right? But she couldn't get me there until day three, day yeah. three. And she couldn't send an associate, something like that. But she's like, don't worry, we'll see it on Friday. And I'm like, I, oh, okay. <laughs> but we were driving there on the Friday and we had stopped to get lunch. Like we, yeah. cause we came from Delaware, we came up to the area and we were about like 10 minutes away, but we stopped for lunch cause we were too early. And while we were eating lunch, I get a ping, I get an email on my phone and it's like, um, this, uh, status change on the duplex that we were about to go visit status change and it's under contract. And I was like, what the? I was so sad because it was the first property and I was like, oh my gosh, we gonna go get this property, it's gonna be great, Mumble, you know, like, this is the one, I want to see it. It was so modern and whatever, but that's why it went under contract right away, right? So then we was in the car, we was sad, and then I was like, well, you know what, everything happens for a reason, but it took me a moment, I had a little tear, I had a tear, but anyway, so then um, after that happened, I felt like this wasn't the right realtor for me she was like oh so sorry bummer i was just about to get in the car to go there did it i'm like if we had just gotten in there i could have at least competed in an offer or whatever and then so that just rubbed me the wrong way and then i was like well when can we go see other properties she's like uh so this was friday she's like we can set up stuff for next wednesday i'm like no i can't i can't do it i need someone who, i you know i get it Realtors, you, I get, but it just it wasn't working. Like not in today's market. You know, yeah, you, I couldn't you have to make an offer that day. Essentially, yeah, even so if it's sight unseen. Yeah, so I was like, I didn't even have that chance. Yeah, like so. Oh wow, it's raining. So then, after that, it happened that I was in in a Facebook group and um in like I guess like a South Jersey properties group or something like that, and it happened that another realtor saw me post something. And he reached out to me. His name is Mike. Hi, Mike. Hey, Mike. He's, he's the one who helped us to get this duplex. He was so, like, flexible and ready to, like, whatever I needed. So, like, the moment this came out on the market, I sent it to him. And I was like, when can we get in? And he was like, let's go. Like, I think I think the first day, the first day it came out, me and him was there. We, were, we, were able, we weren't able to get in the tenant side, but we were able to get in the vacant side. And I was like... This is the one, like, I already had a feeling. I was like, this is, you know, this is so much better than the other ones. The floor wasn't uneven. There's things that we can like, we can we can patch up while we live there. It's gonna be fine, but like, this is good. And it was a good area. And it did have a tenant in the other side who's paying like low, like lower market rent, but it was like enough to almost cover our mortgage. So like, we were like, let's go ahead and try it. Like, see how this goes. The next day we tried to see the tenant side, but there was a miscommunication so the tenant wasn't home 
So we didn't get to see it. But then the day after that, he was able to get us in there, and there he was, was like, available. He was available. Yeah, every day is like three days in a row, right? Um, then when we were there, there was like appointments. You had to have appointments to go see this this side, right? And we saw other people coming in and out, and you could tell there was a lot of interest in this property. So like it was so funny. One of the other people that were looking at was looking at the property. We like we got done, and they were still hanging out outside. They're like, did you see the rats in there? And because like, they're trying to deter us from getting this property. Basically, the property was listed for one hundred ninety nine thousand, um, which was under market. Like, um, so it sounded, it seemed like the they wanted to have a, a bidding war. It just because it was so low price. The comps in the area were like two forty. So like things that recently sold duplexes that recently sold like two forty. Mm -hmm. So um, that's where it was like, well, you know, this is a great price, but like we have to make an offer and like we you talked us through this yes i was so like conflicted because i was thinking about it as though i was gonna live here forever and that's when i clicked that i know i'm investing in this and the the mortgage is not gonna be paid by me but i think i was thinking too much about like what if like you know we offer like so high like 40 grand over and or whatever 30 grand over asking price and then it's like our mortgage is so high and you were like you're, but you're not gonna be the one paying the mortgage. Like it's still ca it's gonna cash flow. Look at this. Like and you show me the numbers. You're like, look, it, it, we have to buy it for like, because I told you like our best and final offer was like two thirty five, right? Mm -hmm. And but I was like, I was like reluctant about. Like I don't know if we can afford it. And then you were like, look at the numbers. And then you look at the numbers, and you're like, it's not even that much more on your mortgage. Like you're you, the the big thing is once you rent out both places you're gonna cash flow this much so like so basically um once i thought about it that way and then even yeah. like my my realtor mike was like you know the difference the 10 the difference in mortgage when you're thinking about 225 versus 235 it's like 10k difference it's only like gonna go up 40 dollars a month so it's not even a big deal and i was like oh and i think i was just reluctant because i was like what if we over over offer and like the house isn't worth this much but then mike did the comps mm -hmm. so we were like you know what we're gonna offer for 235 um and then i think we initially tried well first we initially offered 215 right with like an escalation clause yeah and then up to like i think 230 or something and like they were the realtors like no no escalation clause. best and fine Final offer by Monday. So then you yeah, that's when you the escalation clause. <laughs> yeah. So then they're like, that's when like that's when we um talked all this through and then that's when we're like, okay, our best and final is two thirty five. It's two thirty five. And you were like, Why don't you write a seller's letter? I mean a letter to the seller. Why don't you write a I letter to the seller? I forgot about that. Yeah, no, that was like the, that was the thing. So like we wrote the heartfelt letter, right? You like help us tweak it a little bit, you know, for maximum like, you know, heartstrings, That's right? right? But it was basically our whole story. It was. It, like it was our it was whole story. Honest. It was honest, like how everything brought us to this point. All the things we already talked about up until this point, you know, like that we sold our, we sold our house and we moved in with our parents and everything. And like how we wanted to be closer to church, we wanted to be closer to my mom's side, everything. We said it all there because that's exactly what happened. And we were like, we will take, we will do our best to take good care of this house. It's perfect for what we need. You know, we want to be able to take good care of your tenant, everything. And so I, I'm pretty sure that's what, when we met, so we, our offer was accepted, um, which was awesome. You know, it was like, it was like crazy, like waiting though. Like we were yeah. so like, because basically what happened, um, Mike, our, our realtor, the mass email went out to everyone, including him. So he thought that that meant that our offer wasn't accepted. So he sent us a text and he's like, Hey, I'm so sorry. I don't think our, our offer wasn't accepted. We just got the email, blah, blah, blah. Then our offer was accepted, but we didn't get notified. I don't even know if I told you this, yeah, but no, like, I'm like oh, yeah, he, so we, so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. it was like so much emotion all at once. I didn't even, so basically he sent that. And I was like, I was like, oh, so we were sad for a moment. Yeah. Right. But then I was like, you know what? Upward and onward. And I started sending him more properties already. I was like, you know, we can't, you know, we're ready to buy. If this isn't the one that wasn't meant to be, like I said, yeah. he's like, oh, he was like, you took this so well. <laughs> but then like literally a half hour later, he was like, he calls me, he calls me like, I was still, you know, recovering. I was like, you know, it's gonna be fine. Go look up some stuff. He calls me like, so our offer was accepted. I was like, what? I was like, 
was like screaming at work like what the hell? i don't even know where i was was i at work i don't even know this but i was like i was like yelling like happy happy yelling and there were what seven offers is that what yes you Yes. So when we went to um, have our inspection, was it the inspection? Yeah. Yeah. The the sellers were there, um, and they were like, I guess they were looking at the property too, or whatever. And I didn't know they were sellers because they they like work in roofing or something. So they were like all dressed up in like their roofing, like whatever. They they're really a, nice. They're yeah. very nice, right? So like, but I didn't know that they were the sellers until. And then we look like kids. They told us we like look like little kids. We're like, hi, we're we're gonna buy this property hopefully we're here for the inspection <laughs> so like we like they were like oh my gosh like are you even old enough to buy a property so like yeah no but they were really nice and it was really cool to like meet them in person i was like a little nervous at first because it's still like in the yeah what business it is. transaction yeah you know? You know, so you don't want to be like too but the one the one dude he kept like um the one dude he was like Definitely, he talked more, right? He didn't know. He actually didn't talk much. We were talking with the other guy a lot because it's like two like friends, I guess, that are they bought this together, or whatever. Yeah. Uh, and so the one guy was talking to Fred a lot, whatever. And then the other guy was kind of standing by. But then right before they left, like while we were still there for the inspection, right before they left, the other guy who was silent, he was he like turns and looks at us and he's like, you know. We did have like seven offers on this house and they you know they were all great offers but something about your your letter it really got us like i it was a nice touch it was a nice touch and he was like he was like you know we we get, we left everything to the realtor but like i i did say like this 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 letter you know th this seems like this is right you know this seems like this is the one we should pick so like then i got teary-eyed and then they like left i was like why did that like right when i left like he didn't say like hardly anything the whole time he's it's like in those movies right where there's the one person who's just kind of in the background like that right yeah yeah and when they say like, something speaks up yeah and then when they say something it's so like deep and profound like i was like ugly, <laughs> yeah. ugly crying like when he left and i was like cool. i'm so glad like you know this, this worked out like you know and then like it's crazy so yeah it was like um it was a very just like the whole experience like i mean there were like a lot of like uncertainties with the offer and everything and then even just like getting it appraised so like we you know because there was still like that pit in my stomach like i was like there's a pit in my stomach there's a pit in my stomach because i was like well what if we offer too much what the worst that can happen is that we don't have as high of a loan <laughs> later on because they just would bring it down right but um then it appraised the property appraised for 244 so All it was right. like hey. so we're like yay you know so it was a good you know a good job for the realtor for also doing the comps but it's like that was a good offer we offered you know and then we can you know make more improvements to force force the appreciation whatever so like we we're like yay we did it um so and mortgage, then what, your mortgage is what on this one on your duplex 1546 1546 okay mm -hmm. and once you guys move out right and you're renting both sides what do you anticipate your rental income to be at the minimum 25 because the, the the tenant in there right now in the bigger side is 1400 and but in this i feel like our comps we could easily get like 16 at yeah. least because it's a three bedroom one bath in this yeah. area it's like so, it's a it's a great location easily accessible to major highways all that stuff philly accessible to philly and then also accessible to atlantic city yeah. right. the shore whatever so it's like great so like she's getting a really good deal like yeah. 1400 like i feel like the two bedroom we could like get it up to like 14 or whatever yeah. but like even if we got 12 or 1300 so but if we're gonna be like conservative let's just say 2500 right okay, like so minimum 2500 and that would be i'm looking at my little calculator 954 dollars a month positive cash flow minimum yeah Wait yeah that's awesome yeah it's, yeah <laughs> it's, it's like weird like thinking about it but yeah that's and then cool. even like the fact that you know we live in the one side it's like it almost pays our mortgage. Like, I mean, it's you, the other side almost pays. Like, that's really cool. Yeah. And then, like, once we like rent out my mom's place, then it's like we're not we're not paying to live anywhere. We don't have we. Don't, that's amazing to me. Like this whole like, how did we not do this sooner? I think that's what you know. But you know, when you're ready for the for the good news, or when you're ready to receive like that knowledge, that's when you 
receive it, right? If we yeah. at, any sooner than this, we wouldn't have been ready. Yeah, we wouldn't have been ready. Right. Yeah, but now we're like ready to do whatever. So what are your goals for the future on that note? You're gonna get your mom's house rented out soon. You're just getting it fixed up. You've got your duplex. You guys just closed like last week. So you're moving in, you're working on your lease agreement with your tenant. What are your plans for 2022? <laughs> well, they kind of have escalated quickly. Like we're, you yeah. know, we're we're probably gonna buy more properties. Yeah. Because um apparently we can do that. <laughs> we we have um some funds available to us, some more funds available. So we're we're we are now exploring that with you. Yes. And you have given us a lot to like think about for our next possible moves. Like I think we thought that we would need at least the year to save up for another down but apparently we don't so i think we're gonna like go you guys with are in that. a good spot to yeah right away yes so there might there might be a few more properties coming up before before 2022 is done at I'm least exciting. then we will have like four probably maybe we might have like four properties in like a year like less like in less than two years this i think that's what's gonna happen i think that's what's gonna happen, that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, i know it is so I'm really excited because like we were all like thinking this was going to be like our like our you know like our debriefing call yeah. like we were like you know we got our prop we got two properties for a price of what right like we right, thought right. you know, we were already good but it's like wait a minute guys you can get some more here you don't have to stop yeah so this is exciting it is. this is super I'm it's really exciting. exciting. I know this is, you know, like our little testimonial we're doing, but you guys are only halfway there. We've got a few more months to go during our coaching program, and um, we can definitely get you guys some more properties between now and then. So, I'm yes, excited. yes, thank you for. This has been amazing. Yeah. This is been, like, I mean, I think like if we didn't, yeah, if we didn't go through, if we didn't have you, like, I'm, I don't know that we could have done so much all so fast. Especially, yeah. you really helped us. Um, with figuring out what to do with my mom's property because initially we were like we're gonna just sell it we're gonna sell it and then be done and you were like do the math like are you sure you wanna you wanna just be done with it like you could sell it and get another pro but you already have a property to rent like you don't have to sell it and then get you know you could just rent the one you have and I'm like hmm like we didn't we i think we thought we our calculations were not right or something yeah. we we didn't know like we could that it would be cash flowing like we didn't know until like you were able to walk us through it and so like that helped a lot because it's like okay well we already have the property and then just being able to like you know hopefully rent it soon then that helps my mom too because then she doesn't have a mortgage mm -hmm. um and then she can do whatever she wants with that money like go fly around the world or whatever right like that's gonna be like that's gonna be peace of mind for her um and then you know whatever on top of that you know that that can be you know to help us in our journey as well so like yeah that really helped and like i feel like we've done so much in just a couple of months yeah. like two or <laughs> whatever Amazing. yeah like yeah yeah i think it's still it's still crazy trying to take it all in yeah and then to know that there's more that can be done a lot of life changes can happen real fast yeah it yeah makes i think me so proud to be a part of it it's so yeah fun. yeah i i that's why i feel like it's so important to to have those mentors in your life because it's like we were ready to do the things but we didn't necessarily have all the knowledge that we needed yet or like the 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 steps or the tools or whatever the instruction so to have you there with us every step of the way like i i don't it's like like now we're gonna freaking buy more properties <laughs> Like, you thought this like, was our last call, and I'm like, wait a minute, yeah. you guys got more left in you. <laughs> We're going to squeeze every piece of our investment out of you, you know? Like, and it's, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, it's this has been amazing. This has been amazing. Um, So, yeah, this is only chapter one. So I guess we'll have, we can do an update one day if you'd like to. <laughs> Once you guys get some more duplexes, we'll do a, a chapter two update in 2022. <laughs> nice, well, nice. Thank you guys very much. I appreciate all the kind words. My cheeks are like hurting from all the smiles. Um, you guys have been great to work with. You are great to work with. And I can't wait to, we'll, we'll hang up from this and 
schedule our next call when uh, you guys are ready to go. And I'm proud of you. Congratulations on your duplex. Duplex. Congratulations on getting your mom's house ready to go for the next tenant or for its first tenant. So thank you both very much from the bottom of my heart.